Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and I just recently did a video talking about uh, branched chain amino acids and fat loss and how they don't actually interfere with fat loss in any way that this is absurd. And uh, some people have come in and said, well, no, 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 what people are saying, even like Jerry Ward is saying, and I haven't seen him say this, so I didn't actually watch the video where he said this, so I don't know that he said it, but it's because it breaks your fasted state and you, of course, burn more fat when you're fasted. Let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing. Work on skill up my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. All right, guys, fasted cardio. Uh, I'm going to show you guys on this case, when I say fasted cardio, is actually not a more effective method of fat loss. Uh, I'm going to prove that I'm not biased on this because, number one, you guys know Lane Norton and I don't get along. We don't agree with each other on many things. Uh, there's personal beef between us, and I do attack a lot of the things he puts out. Lane Norton has provided a lot of evidence in the past that fasted cardio is slightly inferior to fed cardio for fat loss. I'm actually going to agree with him because he's got evidence to back it. Just with someone like Lane, uh, I don't believe anything he says unless good evidence is provided. Just because I don't think he's an honest person. But he has proven this. He's proven enough evidence that it's actually reasonable. And it kind of is his area of uh, expertise. He has a PhD in nutrition. Uh, Dr. Brad Schoenfeld has conducted studies on it and found the same thing. Studies that he has done himself that show that fed cardio actually has slightly more potential for fat burning than fasted cardio. And here's what I'll point out to you guys. A lot of the stuff that people do is about health. It's not always about fat loss. For example, um, people always say stupid things like, well, you should try fasted cardio. Actually, I do do fasted cardio. I'm not ripped. So here's my fucking question. If eating a clean bro diet like I do and doing fasted cardio was the secret to getting ripped, why the fuck am I not ripped? Because I eat a lot of calories. That's it. There's your whole explanation. I like to eat a lot of calories. I do cardio because I like to eat. Doing cardio lets me eat more calories. All right, doing cardio lets me eat more calories. And doing cardio is good for your health. But if you eat the calories that you burn through cardio, even in the form of brown rice and chicken and broccoli, you don't lose body fat. If you re-eat the calories you burn, you don't lose fat. Fat loss is about calories in, calories out. That's it, nothing else. Eating a clean, healthy diet and doing cardio is about improving your health, improving the way you feel, and improving your athleticism. It doesn't burn a single drop of body fat to do those things if you don't create a calorie deficit. All right? I am living proof of that because I'm not ripped, and I do all these things that people claim are the keys to getting ripped. But I know they're not, and I don't do them to get ripped. You know why I do fasted cardio? Because sometimes I'm not hungry when I wake up. I don't eat till I get hungry. Sometimes I don't get hungry till noon. Sometimes I'm hungry at 6 a.m. I don't eat till I actually feel the urge to eat breakfast. So if I want to do cardio in the morning, if I'm not hungry yet, I just drink some black coffee and jump on my bike for 30, 40 minutes. Doesn't burn fat any better, but I'm doing it for health. Uh, I like doing cardio in the morning. Sometimes it helps me wake up. It improves my mood. It makes me feel better. So I like to do it. Only time I don't do it in the mornings if I'm going to go deadlift that day. I don't like to do cardio and then go deadlift an hour later. Um, but if I'm only doing a bunch of power cleans and push presses and uh, rows and things like that, I don't worry about it. I'll go ahead and do it. But um, here's the thing. There are pathways through which we can explain this. There's the whole idea behind people with fasted cardio and claiming BCAA breaks your fast, and it does. If you have BCAAs, you're not fasted. But the idea that fasted cardio burns more fat on you comes from the concept that when you're fasted, you have lower circulating insulin, lower circulating glucose. So in theory, you're going to burn more fat as a fuel source. But you know what? When you're doing low intensity type uh, cardio, that's when you burn fat anyways. Higher intensity cardio is going to burn carbs even if you're fasted. Uh, that's just the reality of it. You're going to need to eat more carbs to deal with it. But the thing is, because higher intensity cardio burns carbs for fuel and it only burns fat later through the caloric deficit that you create due to the afterburn, uh, people who don't eat carbs before they do anything but low intensity cardio perform less. Therefore, they burn less calories. Therefore, they burn less fat throughout the day because they create less of a calorie deficit. It's been researched. It's been proven. It's known. 
All right, doing anything but low intensity cardio without eating carbs first reduces your performance. Less performance, less calories burned, less fat loss. It's real simple. Lower intensity cardio, if you have good insulin sensitivity because you lift weights and you don't eat a bunch of processed sugars and stuff, you burn fat as a primary fuel source doing low intensity cardio even if you're not fasted. So you guys see the problem here? Uh, what you find is that people who've eaten carbs first though still put out more energy when they do low intensity cardio. They have more stamina. They can do it for longer before they get tired. Well, if you do it longer before you get tired, you burn more calories. You create a larger calorie deficit through the day. So in both scenarios, you have a situation to where doing fed cardio produces more fat loss. And that's been found in studies. It is slightly, just slightly superior. So this idea that fasted cardio helps you burn fat isn't actually true. It's, it's bro science. And people will say, well, all these pro bodybuilders do it and they get ripped. They must be doing something, right? Well, let me put it to you this way. When you're con using a bunch of Trembolone and HGH like these pro bodybuilders do, what do you think happens? Your body burns fat with any activity that you do. All right, and it also preserves performance and they preserve muscle mass. People who are on trend can train harder when fasted. All right, it negates some of that benefit of eating the carbs. Uh, it's a super nutrient partitioning drug, so is growth hormone. So it very could be possible that people on high doses of drugs might burn slightly more fat when fasted, but it's never been studied. It is possible, but if you don't do pro bodybuilder levels of drugs, uh, it probably isn't worth worrying about. And you know what? Plenty of pro bodybuilders out there also get ripped doing fed cardio. Uh, so, you know, we don't even have a percentage. We would actually have to interview all of them to determine the breakdown. Just because a bunch of them admit to it doesn't mean uh, that 70% of them aren't doing fed cardio. But they're all getting equally lean. Well, that's what you would expect. They all eat good diets. They all use insane amounts of anabolic and fat-burning drugs. Of course they get ripped. They have a lot of chemical assistance with it. Uh, but that doesn't prove that fasted cardio is superior for fat loss when we got plenty of data in the lab showing that it isn't. Now, here's the other thing. People bring up the BCAAs also and they say, well, I do intermittent fasting and I train fasted. Should I take the BCAAs before I train? It's like, no, you should go eat some food before you train. Uh, <laughs> why take the BCAAs? Why would you train fasted? If your goal is to recomposition your body, you need effective workouts. Is anyone going to argue with that logic? Because there are people out there promoting fasted training and the BCAAs come up in that a lot. You don't need supplements, you need to eat some food. Why don't you eat a chicken sandwich and go train? Get some carbs, get some protein in. You're going to have better workouts, you're going to be able to train harder, train longer, and you're going to recover from it faster if you eat food before you train. And I'm not saying eat a giant buffet, I'm not saying get so full that you puke, I'm not saying <laughs> eat a bunch of fat and garbage. I'm saying eat yourself some nice, decently slow digesting complex carbs. Eat a little bit of lean protein before you train. Don't worry about silly stuff like, well, will BCAAs break my fast when I train? Will they help me reduce muscle breakdown? Why do people micromanage stuff like this? One, it has calories in it. It will break your fast. Anything you consume will break your fast. But the question becomes, why are you trying to train fasted? Furthermore, why are you concerned about muscle breakdown when training? We actually know that training that causes the most tissue disruption and the most elevated catabolic hormones like cortisol seems to also induce the most muscle growth. Why do you care about it? Unless you just consume enough food to train hard so that you can come in and put in good solid effort, build some muscle, or if you're doing intermittent type fasting because you want to recomposition, Training after eating is going to give you better recomposition results. Why? Because you're going to get better workouts that stimulates more muscle mass growth. If you stimulate more growth while consuming the same calories, won't you recomposition more quickly? Of course you will. It should be common sense. It should be common sense. So this whole argument about BCAAs before fasted lifting is absurd. You shouldn't be fasted lifting if your concern is body recomposition anyways. Maybe if your goal was maximum fat loss and you're not as worried about muscle loss or performance or whatever, okay, but I'm going to assume the majority of people uh, aren't going to be doing that. Most people are still want to at least preserve or try to build some muscle tissue when they're losing fat. Uh, the best way to do that is going to be to eat some carbs before you train. You're going to get better workouts. It's a no-brainer. 
All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.